The research, among other things, inquired into how Ghanaians were going to cast their ballot and what factors will influence their decisions. It revealed that the majority of Ghanaians will vote based on the campaign messages of political parties, party affiliations, and government policies. About 15%, however, will vote based on their perception of the candidates put forward by the various parties. Following from these responses, the research pegged President Ekufuado to win the polls with a margin of about 10% against John Dramani Mahama. 51 and 7 for MPP and Ekufuado, 44 for NDC and Mahama, and the rest 1.4.8.2.1.1.1.1.1.2. Point two somewhere. And for independent Z. Then we ask them again, are you sure that you are going to vote for the person you say you will vote for? And I have mentioned earlier, eighty point nine percent said you are sure. Hundred constituencies were used for the sampling. Electorates in the Ayawas West Wogon and the Medina constituencies, which are part of the area sampled, are however divided over the findings. I know the Amo Namo and your music have been no mood in Amo DSI because the Juman or no year and yet Yanica. Oh, I say, be gone to me, Sole and call round. Because I say, be Bria Baha, Nina, I know Amo call round and I dare no. Amo and Nado, me as a baby, Nabia, Dada, be no more dad than Nado. The quiet there back up, Dada, no more dad, no. Or Nancata did a nine sea from Power, Bones, a crowd, no, or Bano, yea, and not so by American House. Oh, I say, Amo Bassin Crawford, and a buyer. Nanado never fa. The findings to a large extent also expressed confidence in the performance of the new patriotic party during President Akufuado's first term. 53.5% of the respondents were either confident or very confident that the incumbent has delivered on its campaign promises. Of these promises, the free SHS was ranked first as a policy to resonate with Ghanaians, followed by the one district, one factory policy and the planting for food and jobs policy. At the Medina market, these women expressed confidence in this aspect of the research. Nana Abawe, wo we ni every say and yafonu, ya drosu. Say say ya niska fonin ya no ya eden. Ya pedi etiani se bua mi bani ma de we transu miniska di beko school. Mi bana ko school at my senior high school. We we free result e by sun yamiadum we cha and can ya modit if you go to me go free education. And so nana do see. In a surprising manner, the findings tend to put Christian Kwabna Andrews as the third force in the race, accounting for about 1.4% of the polls. But this might not be surprising after all as this market woman shares with City News, reasons why she will vote for the founder of the Ghana Union movement. And this is about MPP. And also, we have a documentary about the Union movement. We have a new market. 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 The opposition National Democratic Congress has however discredited the content and outcome of the research. Some few people at the department were influenced by MPP politicians. They sat in the confines of their offices and generated a report which is what has been released. That is the information we have. And so we don't believe that um, that report has the backing of University of Ghana or the political science department. It is not official. It is not coming from the university. The researchers say there's a slim margin of error as far as their work is concerned. And taking into consideration the accuracy with which they predicted the 2016 polls, the 2020 polls will be a reflection of their work. If anything they say, 
is to go with, then the election will be a first round victory for the NPP as far as the presidential election is concerned. Reporting for City News, Hansen Ajeman.